I listen to this podcast called Opposable Thumbs. It's really cool. And basically it's these two artists, Rob and Taylor, and they have a guest on every other week. And they are assigned a topic to create an, a piece of art in, like some, you know, random sort of theme. Uh, I love the idea of doing that. And so I asked them if I could be on the podcast. They said yes. And the topic that was picked for my week is proving yourself wrong which is difficult. It's very easy to be wrong, but it's very hard to prove yourself wrong. And I decided that I'm gonna do this. The premise is, I'm not like a skilled woodworker. And I think anybody that watches my channel knows that's not really my thing. I'm not into like real traditional joinery and this and that and the other thing. And one of the reasons is, I feel that I lack the patience and skill to do that type of work. Um, I'm gonna try and prove myself wrong right now by making just a very traditional, very basic, dovetailed box. I've never hand cut a dovetail in my life. I've never had any interest really in cutting one beyond, well I've had interest in it but I've sort of had the fear of failure and I'm gonna try it right now and try to prove myself wrong and prove that I can actually do this uh, or I'm gonna fail miserably and prove myself wrong for trying. <laughs> it gets a little meta there. So I did prep, this is some local walnut and also a piece of local ash that I prepped using my machinery to basically flat and basically straight. Try and do it all completely old school from now, so wish me luck. <laughs> Well, I'm not going to win any awards, but we're getting closer. Let's try the box. Just kind of sanded it a little bit. Uh, you can see a couple of them are pretty good. That looks pretty crappy. That looks terrible. And then I had over here, I had a split. Um, so, so far I am not proving myself wrong. I'm proving myself right that I do not have the skill or patience because uh, this was not really all that enjoyable and it looks like crap. 2,000 years later. I'm at it again and uh, I'm still not happy with the joints I'm getting. So I made a bigger one of these tools that I think is gonna work a little better. This is tough to hold still. I just had a little piece chipped there because uh, it was a little too tight and this is sort of brittle old chestnut. But that's the best I've done yet, maybe, besides that chip. I'm still not transferring the chisel marks clean enough and the lines clean enough. I just added this slot onto the block to help me make the second cuts. Let's try again. One eternity later. Uh, I've done a few of these. A couple of them look okay. Most of them look like crap. I'm definitely getting better at it. And I know if I continued down this path, I would get better at it. You know, it's like anything, you know, you got to do your 3,000 hours or whatever to learn something. But I set out to prove myself wrong that I do have the patience and skill to do this. Um, but I can't. 
<laughs> I'm right. I do not have the patience or skill to do this. I know I could learn it, but to me, it just honestly kind of seems like a waste of time right now. There's a lot of things about traditional woodworking and hand tools. I, like, I love using my hand plane over most other methods for, for leveling wood. Um, but this just doesn't seem like it's worth it to me. If it does seem like it's worth it to you, there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're interested in. Me, I want to learn how to TIG weld. I want to learn how to, you know, do more on the CNC machine. I want to learn how to use the lathe better. I want to learn how to do so many other things more than do this, which I can easily replicate in other fashions. So, uh, we'll see. I'm gonna, I still have time before this is over. And I guess the art project for me is journaling the journey. I don't know, whatever. And, uh... We'll see. Maybe I'll try again. Maybe I'll still try to prove myself wrong, but I need a day off from these because this is like the second or third day in a row I've been making these things and, and I'm tired of it. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. I just pulled this, these two pieces of walnut from my cutoff bin and cut them to length. I think I failed. I proved myself right. I don't have the skill or patience to do dovetails by hand. <laughs> but um, it's, seriously, you know, after I, I got one that's not bad, there's still some flaws in here. I feel better about it, not as frustrated as I did in the first couple ones. I think the main thing I was doing wrong is I, I wasn't treating, I wasn't thinking about the outside edge and I should be working from the visible edge as I chiseled. And so I'd end up like, like a rough, and I'd probably need to learn how to sharpen my chisels better. But uh, it was a great learning experience and uh, hopefully one I'll never do again. No, I, I probably will, I, I get it. And uh, I feel like uh, it forced me to try to do something outside my comfort zone, which is always good. It makes me a better person. Uh, and that was what trying to prove myself wrong was all about for me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Check out the Opposable Thumbs podcast for more. And uh, thank you very much for watching. But it is kind of like an artsy podcast and I, I wanted to take advantage of doing this to do something artsy and not just like a box. Like this is kind of typical for me, even though there's things about it. So I'm gonna try one more thing. Meanwhile.
a dovetail, get it? <laughs> 